Welcome to Channel May Make your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about my great Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel? And turn on the little bell side so once we have all the updates and news you'll be the first one of getting all the inside now obviously we have just gone through a very exciting and ever-changing week should i say uh australia's just had a new government being elected obviously the the new prime minister pm anthony albanese on thursday flight to tokyo japan to attend the court meeting a uh, fairly busy week and also in domestically there is there are a lot of policies uh, being amended legislated and ready to be publicized i think it will be a very very fast changing pace just right before july why july because july will normally be a first uh will, will re refresh a new financial year now obviously the new government wouldn't like to implement some of the policy of the former government and that's exactly what the australian uh, population australian citizens has voted for the change isn't it so i expect the, there will be a lot of things to come uh, one of the big news uh, obviously there hasn't really been uh, a firm immigration policy uh being being announced but there is some sort of directions that we can already foresee so today i'm gonna bring you uh some of the news coming up and what what we are expecting i think it will be very very good second half of the year with a lot of policies and perhaps more immigration intake for the new coming year as well new new financial year now let's go into this news first now obviously uh there hasn't been a newly appointed um minister for home affairs or minister for immigration whether or not they're going to change the name because generally a change of government they will change the departmental name uh previously it was called department of multicultural and citizenship and then change it to uh, department of uh, border protections uh and then obviously you know about it they have changed it to uh, department of home affairs well now they're gonna change it again we don't know but anyway it's immigration matter so this is just a couple uh, hours ago look at this this is only seven hours ago so what happened uh if you have followed the um immigration news of australia you probably know about this case about the town asylum seeker family now in the former government how they have dealing with how they have dealt with the asylum seekers they put them in detention they give them a bridging visa well, very reluctant to uh, provide them a pathway to become permanent resident despite they actually uh were look at the kids they they were they were almost like i'm not too sure where they were uh they, they they're born in australia but uh they they cannot correlate back to uh, where they were uh, back in uh, their originated country uh, so they claim for some secret claim which was uh, at the court uh, confirm that they are uh, meeting the definition criteria as asylum seekers uh, but the former government is very reluctant to provide them uh, uh, actual substantial visa same as for a lot of asylum seekers they have been put in, in detention center christmas island for what 10 years seven years or something like that and not not saying what happened to what about the um the djokovic cage case uh, that we we have seen previously uh they have um, put djokovic deported uh while just right before attending melbourne cup uh, is that the right thing to do uh so you can see there has been a lot of uh this kind of thing conduct been dealt in the uh, by the former government and uh, how about those cases it relates to new zealand citizens uh they deport them back to new zealand some of them were born in australia and they never live in new zealand and they deport them back to new zealand 
Was that the right thing to do? Where, what about the compassion that the government should actually shown uh, to the citizen and, and, and the people, general public in Australia? I think that's one of the reasons that um, uh, they have lost the election badly last weekend. Uh, and, and and now the the liberal uh, party is falling apart. Don't know when they can come back. I suspect Labor government will actually be there for at least six years. I don't think they will uh, likely to lose uh, a second term. Uh, but we can see the Albanese government is fastly taking the approach and making a lot of changes. I suspect they will remove the cap. That Scott Morrison uh, has said about 160,000 for 2022 and 23. Why did I say that? Why? Well, let's have a look at this. This is a. Um, what's this one? This is actually what happened uh, during a morning interview of a program from Sunrise, uh, where the, uh, the Sunrise host asked about uh, asked, uh, Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister, about. Uh, what's going to take place obviously there's no firm uh, policies yet but this is the interview let's just have a look at this one increased uh, migration both temporary and permanent so that we we increase that people to people relations did you hear that increase the number of the migration for temporary and permanent wow isn't that amazing i mean that 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 basically says now that was i think that was two days ago just right after uh elbow attended the quad meeting in japan and coming back straight from japan back to australia to get everything sorted because there were still a lot of ministerial and cabinet required to be sworn in in canberra in order to have the, a, 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 a real government actually in process in any position to govern uh so that was one of the morning i think that's two days ago uh and he was uh elbow was interviewed by the sunrise morning breakfast morning uh news program uh asking about uh, what what he seek to do so the the interview go for about i think 12 or 10 minutes but he talked about a lot of other issues uh border securities uh also the technology uh climate change green energy blah 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 and that slim of about five seconds uh, he actually said that increased migration by temporary and permanent now if we go back to the previous shadow minister of, of immigration christina Keneally. well unfortunately christina actually lost her seat so she's not going to be in place so i think labor government is uh is looking for someone else uh, to actually be that minister of home affairs uh and for immigration now what she said previously if you recall back uh in the news article he was she was basically saying why don't we be more friendly if we want people to come to australia work for so long why don't we offer them a permanent status now that's something that the former government did not really do and the former government actually block a lot of these people to become a permanent resident of Australia. Now, obviously, the reason why they did that, because they won the elections back in 2019 on the basis of their agenda to do that. So they have dropped the annual intake up from 190,000 down to 160,000 in proof of what they claim that the big australia idea is doesn't work it's just making more congestion more traffic jam uh, more housing prices and co and crisis in australia for example sydney melbourne and brisbane blah 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 all these kind of things but obviously a virus covid 19 came 2020 destroy all that lie so everybody left the country even 170,000 australian citizens left australia However, Australia, Sydney and Melbourne still experiencing traffic jam, congestions, housing prices going up like crazy. How about inflations? And that's why the Australian citizens and the general public of Australia had chose a change. 
Anyway, I think this will be a very exciting second half of the year. Uh, the Labour government is very busy getting their newly appointed or sworn in Minister of Immigration. And we'll, let's, let's have a look what will happen before July. I believe the cap will be remove they will write to throwing more numbers for annual intake and there will be a lot of policies to improve increase and improve the in international education sector and also for a lot of migrants interests to just resolve the problem because it has just anyway you have we all been through those two years let's have hope for a better australia thank you for watching and should you have more questions and query more than welcome to leave a comment right down below and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.